What's up, Backyard Bass fans? All right, today we are actually going to go back over the magnet and braking system. Um, had a lot of guys questioning up on how they actually change the magnets. So I'm going to take this apart, show you guys on camera how I do it. It's very, very simple. Um, and I'll explain two different ways that they actually come that I've seen. So you guys can go ahead and do it yourself. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, so you can see here, I've got my reel, I've got a pick, a Phillips screwdriver, a small one, and then a flathead. That's about all you're gonna need for this. Um, we'll start off, we'll take the side plate off, just like I showed you guys last time. So, what we're gonna be working on are these magnets right here. Um, guys, like I said before, Typically when you get a new one or something like that, they're going to have a little red mark on them or some type of marking letting you know that that magnet is up and facing the spool. So that's pulling. Um, if not, um, you really need to kind of dig into it a little bit. Like I said, they should be marked. If you have an older reel that's not, um, you can actually go through and kind of test and see which ones are on and which ones are off. You'll feel the difference between some of them. They're real, real strong. And then the other ones are just kind of halfway there. So that's one way of figuring that out. Um, but we'll dig into it here a little bit, and I'll show you guys how to do this. And please excuse my giant fat fingers. I know it's a little harder to see with those. So first thing you want to do, is you're going to take these two screws out. And guys, don't worry about it. The magnets will hold them in just about everywhere there. So get that one out. And this one. So what's going to happen is this thing's going to lift right, should be lift right up. If not, you can use that little pick. Is what I do. But so that's the magnets, guys. And if you flip this over, you'll notice on the back there's a little plate. It's just a little metal plate that runs all the way across all of them. So all you have to do, this is what that picks for. Just come over here to one of the edges and just get down underneath that plate and just pry that little plate up. So, once you pry that up, it just comes right out to the side here. And that's all you got to do. Now you can go through and just push your magnets out. Um, we'll just go with this first one right here that's already marked. So if I want to switch, switch that one out, just push it out just like that. Like I said, this one here is the one that I have on. So I want to make sure I get that red mark up, which is probably hard to see, guys, but it is on there. Then I'll just take that and I'll push that right back in there. And that's all there is to flipping those magnets. Now guys, I will tell you this. Um, some of the, the cheaper reels that I've seen out there will not be made quite like this. Um, and I'll show you the difference here, what I'm talking about. So just put that little bar back in there like that and you're good to go. All you gotta do is put it back in there on top of your screws and screw it back down. Now, the one thing I will tell you is sometimes on the cheaper reels, it will not have that backer plate on there. That it'd be just a flat plastic on the back of there. And what that is, is those little magnets, they just put just a little bitty dab of glue on there and they're glued in there. So you might have to take a pick like this and just kind of work that around that plastic and work that out. Make sure you flip it over. Just get you a little bitty dab of just any kind of little super glue or nail glue, anything like that will work. It don't have to be a bunch, just a little bit, and then put it back down in that slot. That's all there is to doing that. So we'll put these uh, screws back in here real quick. Now, guys, I can tell you right now, hopefully you got smaller fingers than I do, because this is a pain in the butt with fat fingers, I can tell you. As you can see there. Uh, and that's kind of why I had that flat screwdriver out. I'll show you here. Let's just kind of hold that in place. And like I said, if I had smaller fingers, it would be a whole lot easier. So 
there we go. Now don't tighten that first one down just yet all the way. You want to make sure you get the second one lined up real good because like I said that is plastic in there so you don't want to strip anything out. So once you get the first one in there and then go down to the second one Go ahead and get it started in there, like so. And go ahead and tighten that down a little bit, just enough to snug it. And you go over here, you go ahead and finish tightening this one down now. Now that they're all lined up and good to go. And guys, don't go don't go crazy on this. Just just go to where they're snug. They don't have to be super tight or nothing like that. You'll end up stripping those little screws out. So that's all there is to that. Stick it back on there. You should be good to go all right guys that's all i got for that like i said if you guys have got any other questions you know leave them down in the comments you know i'm more than happy to answer anything you got um just leave them down there and let me know and we'll see you guys again next time thanks mm -hmm.